This is a Cash TV 450. We installed this aftermarket camera. We just hooked it right up to the battery so it's on all the time. It was really nice to have that addition on it. Comes with a stereo. Doesn't have a very good reception, but I'm kind of up in the mountain, so. air conditioning system. It's pretty nice. It'll blow pretty hard. been pretty impressed with the skitter pretty solid all the way around its tracks are pretty smooth I've been pretty happy with that the one thing I don't like about this thing is right here when the door closes and the door swings into there if that's not all the way down if the buckets not all the way down it'll hit right there really close tolerance so if that bucket's up even a tiny bit it just tears on this it tears on this you can see a little chunk missing out of it from that happening wish they would have made it barely different than that i think they should make them come stock with a backup camera for how nice that is it's just it's wisdom to have a backup camera. You can see if anybody walks behind you or if there's a if you're working nearby something. It's just really nice to have one. After having it, it's it'd make you go crazy to not. When we lifted up that that pallet of those two pallets of mortar. I videoed up close to the wheel right here because it just put a ton of pressure on that thing. I probably wouldn't do that anymore. Not a good idea. We just wanted to see if it would do it. Right here is really close as well. When the bucket's down, then it, it rubs right there if you get any kind of side pressure seems a little bit weird it could tear the track it hasn't so far but it, it, it'll hit it pretty hard sometimes so when you're when you're have this thing up we have this eight foot wide bucket it's 84 inches wide so when we when we get a load of that and you lift it up a couple of feet off the off the ground, it's heavy enough that if you start shifting sideways, like if you're barely if you're barely up off the ground, and it it'll slide and hit that track all the time when you get a load of dirt. So it's starting to wear right there. We only have a couple hundred hours on it, but other than that, it's been really nice if I would have had the backup camera I wouldn't before I before I put it on 
I was backing up and clunked into a bank. Kind of scratched it up a little. We lock the top here so that somebody won't come and sabotage your machine or something crazy like that. Somebody has access to your fuel, they could dump whatever they wanted in there. So we just lock it up, just keep them out. Right here you have to lift this little mechanism so that the door will close. So it will lock open so if you're working in there it don't come flying shut or somebody bumps into it or something. We've had to adjust the door a little bit because it when you're pressure washing it then it would leak water in there so he adjusted the door just a little bit tighter and it, you have to really swing it now but but it does keep it nice and tight it won't let the let the water in there when you're putting a lot of pressure on it we added this light bar to the top it's really nice its lights are okay they're not too bad but just gives you that extra visibility we do a lot of snow blowing and the days are short in the winter so 